Hello students, I am Dr. Manish Puntambekar from the Department of Management. Today we are just going to discuss about income tax assessment procedure. In this regard, we will have to understand the meaning of PAN card, concept of PAN card. PAN stands for permanent account number which consists of 10 digits alpha, alpha numerical character and is assigned to all taxpayers in India. It is issued under the in Indian Income Tax Act 1961 by the Indian Income Tax Department under the supervision of the Central Board of Direct Taxes CBDT. Basically PAN card is an electronic system in which all the tax related information of a person or company is recorded against a single PAN number. Two tax paying entities can have the same PAN card. For major financial transactions, PAN card is mandatory like for opening a bank account, sale or purchase of assets etc. That is why PAN card provides the details of the account holder in a unique way. Now, classification of characters in PAN card. Out of these 10 digits of PAN card, the first 5 figures represents alphabets next four digits are numbers and the last number is again an alphabet. All these digits have some meaning and reveal the information of the account holder. For better understanding of the classification, we have divided 10 characters of PAN card into five parts as follows. First, first three characters. The first three characters are normal alpha alphabetic series starting from A to Z. Department of IT allocates the digits randomly which is combination of the letters like AZT or ZRT. Fourth character, the fourth character represents the status of the PAN card holder. It is one of the most important character and those who deals in PAN card usually look at this character to identify the status of that particular person. The fourth character for a majority of pen holders is the letter P which stands for person. The other nine letters that can represent the four characters are C, H, F, A, T, B, L, J and G. These letters stands for C for company, H for Hindu undivided family, F for firm, A for association of persons, T for trust, B for body of individuals, L for local authority, J for artificial juridical person and G for government. Now fifth character. The fifth character represents the first alphabet of pen holders last name or surname. Like a person has Amit Goel name, then G will be the fifth character on his PAN card because his last name's first alphabet is G. Also, if your surname changes after marriage or due to any other reason, then also your PAN card number will remain unchanged. Six to nine characters. These four characters are sequential numbers starting from 1 to 9999. Like first three characters here to the selection is random. Now fifth, tenth character, the last or tenth character in the PAN card is an alphabetic check digit which can be any alphabet. Information available on PAN card. PAN card consists of PAN of the card holder that is for all the SSE, name of the card holder, name of the father of the card holder, date of birth, signature of the individual and photograph of the individual. Benefits or objectives of PAN card. Conditions or transactions for which coating PAN is compulsory. For certain financial transactions, coating PAN card are mandatory. There are the following transactions under rule 114B. First, sale or purchase of a motor vehicle other than two wheelers. 
second opening an account other than a time deposit referred to at serial number 12 and a basic saving bank deposit account with a bank or cooperative bank. Making an application to a bank or cooperative bank or any other company or institution for issue of a credit or debit card. Fourth point, opening of a DMAT account. Fifth, payment in cash of an amount exceeding rupees 50,000 to a hotel or restaurant against a bill or bills at any one time. Payment in cash of an amount exceeding rupees 50,000 in connection with travel to any foreign country or payment for purchase of any foreign currency at any one time. Next, seventh point, payment to a mutual fund for purchase of its units if amount exceeding rupees 50,000. Eighth, payment to a company or an institution for acquiring debentures, oblique bonds issued by it if amount exceeding rupees 50,000. Ninth, payment to the RBI for acquiring bonds issued by it if amount exceeding rupees 50,000. Ten, deposit with a bank or cooperative bank if deposits in cash exceeding rupees 50,000 during any one day or exceeding rupees 250,000 during November 9, 2016 and December 30th, 2016. So, students, these are the basic introduction of tax procedure in which we have discussed today PAN card, the details of PAN card. Thank you so much.